Assalamu alaikum, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm just so grateful, thankful, and that you decided to spend some of your time here with me today. Guys, today's video is going to be a laugh, and I kid you not, it's 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 with with with, with the funniest guy that I know, good old uh, Hassan Minhaj. If you don't know who Hassan Minhaj is, uh, you know what? That's that's not okay. I mean, if you don't know the Sira of the Messenger Sallallahu that's forgivable. I mean, you don't know the stories of the companions. Uh, we could make do with that. But the fact that you don't know who Hassan Minhaj is, now that's a problem. Bida, bida, bida. Recently on Netflix, Hassan Minhaj made a dua, ladies and gentlemen. I kid you not, a real dua on Netflix for the entire Muslim Ummah. Today's video is going to be a breakdown of that video. Now let's jump into it. Way of Life SQ, keeping it a hundred. Specifically from the Muslim community, they loved every single point that I made, but they said, why did you have to go after making dua? Oh, I'm sorry, Hassan, what was that? We gotta make dua. I'm sorry, say that again one more time. We cannot just make dua. Why are you saying it like that? I'm gonna kick this thing off with the dua, with the prayer. Is there something stuck in your teeth? Dua. Say it with me. Dua. Dua. No, 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 no. Dua. Dua. Listen, hey, hey, listen. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a very, I'm a teacher. This is what I do, I teach, okay? So say it with me, Hassan, I know you can do it. Dua. Dua. Why can't you say it correctly, bro? It's super simple. Dua. Dua. God, man, I feel like Brian when he was telling Stewie how to pronounce Cool Whip. Yeah, Cool Whip. Cool Whip. Cool Whip. Cool Whip. Cool Whip. You're saying it weird. Why are you putting so much emphasis on the H? You know how the community gets sometimes. If you don't, if you kind of, you know, you push back on some of those Sunday school rules, they'll push back on you, so. That's right, Hassan. What are you talking? Duh, SQ, come on now. Whenever you talk about the Quran and Sunnah, that's just the Sunday school rules. You're such an idiot, SQ. Man, what the hell? This man's about to lead us in Dara we? Now hold on. Hassan, pump the brakes for a second, alright? I think I speak on behalf of all Muslims across the globe when I say that you have some excellent du'a form, bro. I mean, look at your hands, bro. They are absolutely symmetrical and perfect du'a form. I mean, your, your tajweed ain't no sudais, but you know what I mean? I, I give you A for effort, though. Oh, Allah, please, please unite, unite us all in the cause for justice. For justice. I mean, I mean, I mean, Allah, I mean. Oh, Allah, please, please protect, protect brother Keith, Keith Ellison. Ellison. He is fighting, he's fighting the good fight, fight, and this is a fight for justice. For justice. I mean, I mean Yalla, Yalla, wow. wow. Hassan, you're, Hassan, you're off, off to a fantastic start, might I say. Yalla, please protect us. From plaque, gum disease, gum disease. and gingivitis. Wait, hang, on, hang, on, hang on a second. What? Wait, this just took a weird turn. I love it, guys. I love it. Mashallah, comedian Hassan Minhaj is throwing in some humor in his dua because uh, he's supposed to be funny. This is brilliant. I mean, what's next? Oh, Allah, please, please protect us from shortness of breath. Ya Allah, you're the one who aligns everything, Allah, so please. Align my waist size to the waist size of my trousers, Ya Allah. It's sticking too much, Ya Allah, and it's giving me a muffin top, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, please protect the ummah from growing man boobs, Ya Allah. Please, we don't need that. And Allah, of course, please protect us and help us from baldness, Allah. We need you, Ya Allah. We need you. You know how when you're on FaceTime audio, and then it drops and it switches you to LTE, but then LTE also sucks. Ya Allah, please. Please make LTE strong and better. Damn, Hassan, how'd you know, bro? This is exactly the same type of du'as I'd be making at 3 a.m. at the hajjah time. Oh, Allah, please, please, ya Allah, strengthen my Wi-Fi signal, ya Allah, please. Ya Allah, I need your help, please, ya Allah. Protect my IG live from crashing mid-live session so that I can finally save my live sessions, Allah. Please, ya Ghafoor, ya Rahim, please, Allah. Allow me to get more V-Bucks, ya Allah. You know how when you bite into an olive and there's still a pit in it, Allah. Allah, please protect us from the pit. Man, even this Keith dude is smirking and cringing like, damn, Hassan, you're taking the piss out of your own religion. Nice job. Ya Allah, please, please, bring back limited edition wasabi Doritos. They were really good, Allah, please. Ya Allah, please, please, please. Allow the pumpkin spice lattes at Starbucks to be served all year round and not just seasonal. Ya Rafur, Ya Rahim. Allah, please, please protect us from white women in yoga pants. Astaghfirullah, please. I mean, I mean to that one. I think that was pretty good. Ya Allah, please, please help Brother Keith Ellison prosecute these four police officers to the fullest extent possible. 
Now wait, 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 wait a second. Was, was that supposed to be serious or funny? Because this whole time you were mocking how Muslims are so ridiculous <laughs> <laughs> for making the stupidest of du'as and just believing in this whole du'a thing, you know what I mean? And uh, you slip in a real du'a at the end? Bro, I like your style. You know what, you come off as you're mocking the deen, but Alhamdulillah, I actually, I actually love this because on Netflix you were able to say Allah's name for millions to hear. I, I, I love this fact about it. And what you don't realize, Hassan, is that it's actually from the Sunnah to make dua for anything that you might need, even if that be a shoestring. And let's read some of these comments because I'm sure his white non-Muslim audience is going to love, love this. What? Wait, what? These are, these are all these are all supportive and laughter comments from Muslims. Wait, 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 what's going on right now? Bro, I'm dying. Laughing till I'm crying emoji times seven. I mean, calm down, all right? Death is not a game. I'm sure Sheikh Hassan can make dua for you for that one. Protect us from white women in yoga pants? Had me wheezing. Laughing till I'm crying emoji sideways. Hey now, someone please get my bro an inhaler because asthma is not a joke. My favorite comment over here, let's not let this get lost in the brilliant comedy Hassan Minha just made dua in Arabic with an American politician slash lawyer on a mainstream media platform. I'm so here for all of this. Normalize Islamic devotion, normalize Islam, and representation matters. Prayer hands, hallelujah hands, and a pink heart for good measure. Now, I agree with you. I think that this is really important, but uh, normalize Islam at what cost? At even sacrificing your own values just so we can fit in? I mean, what do I have to even do to get some good intellectual commentary nowadays? I know, get off Instagram and go onto Twitter. I think Hassan Minhaj gets a bad rap sometimes. He's decently funny, usually, and is quite good at explaining things on his show. However, if you're going to constantly reference the fact that you're a Muslim in your career, expect to be checked when you step out of line. Now this is what I call intellectual commentary. No more LOLs and uh, laughing till I'm crying sideways emojis and LMAOs. Some actual intellectual comments. And I think this comment right here summarizes everything ever so beautifully. Hassan Minhaj's best jokes are not the corny look at wacky Muslims praying har har, but his social critiques and political commentary is fire emoji. The cheap Muslim jokes always feel like an insecure brown teen trying to make his classmates laugh at school. LOLs. Now that is a very well summarized comment. In all honesty, I'm actually very happy that there is a Muslim on mainstream media, but when it comes to religious commentary or knowledge or anything about religion, I wouldn't really take him seriously or even listen to his suggestions as much as you wouldn't take me seriously if I came to tell you suggestions and tips and tricks for like working out or even hair products. Tell me your thoughts in the comment section below. What do you think about this entire situation? I want you to weigh in in the comment section below. And before you leave, if you could please raise your hands and make some du'a for all the things that you are lacking in your life and all the things that you wish you had. And as soon as you're done making that du'a, saying amin, rubbing it all over your face, I need you to, to uh, smash this video with a huge thumbs up. I appreciate you so much. If you're new to this channel, it'd mean the world to me if somehow you made it to the end of this video by some miracle that you decided to subscribe by hitting this button right here. If you'd like to spend a little bit more time with me, hit any one of these videos right here. And until next time, I'm out.